Okay, guys. So, in this second part, we're going to use cohesive element uh, using PPR, PPR cohesive elements. So we will start from the previous analysis uh, from the part one here, and then let's check where is the that that our directory start working directory. It's in Abacus Tem C. You can check where is yours and find the the job one dot INP right the problem is that my computer I don't have Fortran compiler in this computer so I will use another computer that I will access remotely so what I need to do is that I need to open the job INP file and then copy the input file this is the input file from the previous analysis which using the abacus in uh, cohesive elements and then this is the Ubuntu you can yeah you can use whatever you want oh, sorry the interconnect internet connection is very slow so we can create the job one dot R and B and then you copy paste the the previous analysis input file and then we're going to modify this input file to include the PPR cohesive elements so I will show you how to download the let me move it to trash first I will show you how to download the PPR cohesive elements you open your Mozilla browser browser and search for Paulino PPR enter you will find this guy PPR UEL and tutorials so this guy is a good guy <laughs> they provide us the, the use, user element subroutines so what you need to do is to download the, the UEL the user subroutine for the cohesive elements which 3d brick element and then save it and then you open it you extract I will show the files where is it say so here it is I copy to my folder right the second things that you need to know you need to download is you need to download the the example of the input file so we know how to modify our our input file accordingly uh, you can download this one download input file 3d you save it all right you extract and extract so the files so this spear okay. we will not use it we just want to know how they use the cohesive element how to include the cohesive element in the input file and also they provide also the, the instruction manual how to use it but it's not really clear if you see I'm pretty much sure that you will be get lost in the middle if you just see his in instruction so this is the instruction so so let's let's open this so this is our original input file right and oh sorry Where is it the PPR? Okay. Oh. So you open this. This is from Paulino. So there are several things that you need to modify in your original input file. The very first thing is you, you click Control F to find this line of codes. Yes, this one user element blah 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 and yeah just copy these three lines All right copy 
and then put this into the cohesive elements in your original file put star and then search by the star yeah so this is the cohesive element coh 3d8 so you just need to replace this line with the with these three lines okay and then put a uh, appropriate name so let's call it co l so it calls the elements the element set all right and then save it and then if you go here again and then search again for this line yeah you need to copy this line this three line this three line copy and paste in near the solid section part solid section yeah, yeah you just copy this three line and come here to the original file and then control F mm. yep uh, right yeah this is the solid section so this is the original file that we have cohesive section you need to replace this because we are not going to use the cohesive element from Abacus replace this with this alright and then the element set because we changed before uh, we call oh. and then you need to remove everything related to the original abacus cohesive elements like the material here we have a uh, glue materials you need to make sure that you delete this part the glue part all right and then this one the section controls because this one is for the cohesive elements before and now let's remove this part all right so you might be wondering what is this whole number about so basically if you take a cohesive element this the ppr this is the ppr model you can download this paper this paper is from alfano lubino and tolino they explain what is ppr and yeah so basically the one that we used before from abacus the shape is like like this the triangle it's simple and the ppr they have a more continuous shape and then you can adjust the the softening power whether this shape or this shape or slightly similar to to the triangular shape okay and if you want to know you can read the the, the paper clearly or yeah so to understand these numbers there is several numbers here so basically you can read the instruction The instruction here they mention what is this number what is this number what is numbers so basically the first two part is the fracture energy in the normal direction and the shear direction this uh, third and fourth is the uh, let's say the strength the interface strength in the normal the shear and this fifth and the sixth is the the parameters that adjust your the shape of the softening curve as I shown you here before if you set it uh, larger than 2 it will be something like this if it will smaller than 2 it will be like this or it will equal to 2 it will be like a slightly linear and where is it again and this three, the last part is tells you the position of oh sorry the position of this the, uh, the lambda end so basically this is related to the stiffness of the PPR so to make it consistent with this one I already calculate the, the parameters for the PPR as shown here so the theta is the fracture energy 0 0.025 so let's change it oh sorry 
Come on. Internet connection is fairly slow. 0 0.025. And you can set 0 0.025 by assuming that the, sh the shear fracture energy is the same with the normal fracture energy. And then you can set the maximum interface strength 0 0.1 in all directions I'm sorry where is it here 0 0.0.1 0 .1. and 0 0.1 and I want to make it quite similar to the triangular one so I put it equal to 2 same thing here equal to 2 and this one is the sh is the strain at the maximum strength is 0 0.01 oh, where is it? 0 0.01 0 0.01 all right okay so now I modify this accordingly you save it and then that's it that's how you implement PPR cohesive element it's quite simple right and then yeah you can close it and then run it yeah <clears throat> so how to run so you need to type this in the command prompt in terminals in Ubuntu Abacus job equals to job one space and then uh, specify the the user subroutine 3d PPR break dot F and then I usually put this CPUs how many CPU that I will use here I have 32 in my workstation and then interactive so I know what is happening when I'm running the simulation so that's all that's what you need and yeah you just need to run all right uh, I will continue when it's finished it's running now all right so let's continue so here's the error because I, I stopped this I don't want to wait this till finish. So if we check the result till now, you can click Abacus Viewer database and then job one. Yeah, click enter. And then we show one. So yeah, here it is. If you click here, you can see there there is a separation. So click here now to make it details. Okay. So the difference between the the built-in cohesive element and the user element, you use uh, the cohesive element that is defined by user elements. Uh, with the PPR passive elements, you cannot see the the physical elements from the abacus viewer, but actually they are they are there. But you cannot just see it. Yeah, but that, that's yeah that's okay. You d you don't need to see, but they are actually there. So if you do this, yes. Yeah. How did I know if they are there? Is you can see that if they're not there means that these two parts are not glue so there will be no stress transfers but as you see here as you pull this part up uh, the, uh, the, the the lower surface is, stre is still stressed and it propagates as you can see yep. and then you can plot the stress uh, the force displacement curve of this point, yes, where you can do whatever you want to do.
all right so i think that's all i can show you how to use coset element so it's quite simple so the idea is that you have to follow you have to model this with the classical abacus coset elements and then generate the input file and then modify the input file accordingly uh, by looking at the examples that provided by 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 Paulino and, and in their websites. Okay, good luck, guys. See you.